Hello, everyone. It's that time again. It's a reading for Mercury in retrograde that will start off in Virgo. The dates are August 23rd through September 14th will be the retrograde period. Starts off with Virgo, so it's a big emphasis on Virgo um, energy. And um, remember, there's a shadow period, of course, even after. Some people do rely on that. Some people don't, but I tend to believe that some shadow periods actually, to me, feel more like Mercury retrograde than during the Mercury retrograde at times. Anyway, um, I will do a collective and um, and then I will start with the sign of Virgo and um, with, um, each n uh, next uh, consecutive sign. So we will look at what um, basically the themes are and what to expect, maybe challenges, you know, whatever shows up here. So I will do a collective. Um, it is important to, this is based on the sun sign, but it's good to also look at if Virgo's in important areas in your chart, okay? So, yeah. All right, so let me start with the collective. One thing, um, like I said, I was starting to say, um, if you have a lot of Virgo, it is going to be affecting you a lot. Um see where it is, especially if it's your rising, maybe your moon, um, natal moon, um, if it's your north node, south node, a Jupiter, well, wherever it is. In those areas is probably where you're going to see the effects, okay? Sometimes Jupiter, um, Jupiter, sometimes um, retrogrades are actually progressive for us, okay? So, you know, it depends on everyone, like I said. So it's important to kind of watch those signs where you're where you do have Virgo. Um, if you have especially a lot of Virgo, so I'd listen to Virgo if anything. All right, um, what I see here in the collective is quite interesting. Um, the only sign that got three stones was Cancer, so we'll see why. Um, what I do feel here, there is an emphasis on definitely Virgo is an Earth sign, and there's an emphasis on work, health. Um, everyday routine, spirituality, um, organization, and focus. So this is where you could hone those skills. Um, you know, of course, uh, Mercury in retrograde usually is revise, review, the, you know, the RE in front. And it does make sense because sometimes we get great ideas in that, but sometimes implementing them, you know, um, takes time or we need to review or we're not seeing something clearly. Now, the thing is... Um, if you do have, of course, legal matters or something that's pressing and important, or you're looking for a job um, and you get hired, well, you know, you, the things you need to do, you have to do. Uh, some people tell me, can't do this during Mercury retrograde. Well, life goes on. We have to live. You know, you get summoned to court or something, let's say. You have to go. Um, you're having a medical emergency. You have to go. Um, the thing is always just be more aware, take your time with things that you don't have to do. That's the best I can explain. And sometimes it works out for us anyway, because it could be a connection from another Mercury retrograde wrapping up a cycle. So it works that way too. All right. The collective, what I'm seeing here is definitely what's a positive here. And there's an emphasis on it is, um, planning. Okay. Progress. And we may be also making some important decisions, but they will come with some kind of discoveries. So some of us are planning to leave home. Maybe travel is involved. Uh, travel plans may be made too. So I do feel that energy. Now, there's a positivity here of making some choices, but sometimes we need to also take a leap of faith. But we also trust ourselves, but we also have to do it with more confidence and focus and um, you know, be more detailed. So I do feel that energy. There is an energy of the past coming back and delays are definitely going to be in our favor. Um, I do feel that we may have to kind of like wait. We may be processing the past for some reason is what I'm feeling. Um, so yeah, there is a connection to that and there can be some separations or reunions with people as well. Health and well-being definitely is accented here in your everyday like uh, travel is showing up too. Some of you, you could be over-focused and too much in your head though. Um, but this is a time to make these plans and some fears that you really had and worries will be leaving. You may even get some more clarity. Um, there is a, a connection to the past. So I do feel that energy as well. Maybe we're reminiscing or we're trying, or we may be reconnecting or traveling to see someone from the past or where we lived before. Now, the challenges that I feel here is um, abundance, you know, what uh, what we do have. There's a focus on money. 
Um, some of us may have um, issues with financial security, with family. Um, you know, we're frustrated with this long-term success. Contributions, where we contribute our energy. Um, property matters, wills, trusts, um, inheritance may be a problem too. So I do feel that. There could be some um, issues with finances. I do feel that energy um, as well or more awareness. Um, I do feel that a female from your past, um, there could be an issue with that or that could be returning um, your intuition to knowing the difference between your intuition and your and what is um, just a feeling. Um, I do feel that there can be some travel issues and it's very common with Mercury retrograde or there's going to be a sudden breakthrough. Okay, so I do feel that energy, maybe bad weather or something, or you incur, so I do see that. For some of you, travel will inspire something like a whole life change. Um, there could be news of something ending from the past. Um, yes, this is people who, um, a part of the past no longer actually exists, so there's a sense of karma. There is transformation here as well, and maybe some changes with child in your life as well. So I do feel those energies. Okay, so that is basically the collective. And now we're going to start with Virgo. Mercury is in your sign, Virgo. I mean, the retrograde is in Virgo and Mercury actually is your ruler. So it can be a little difficult. <laughs> All right, so what we do see here, there is a connection to water long distance or something in the future. Can be a uh, long distance travel. There is, um, this is the stone of karma and also one step at a time. Things may be frustrating. Now they may take a little bit longer, but uh, hard work, perseverance will um, bring rewards. All right, so I am seeing that energy. What I do see here that is important, that is really, um, um, I want to say, a good message for you is um, this is being more true to yourself. This is where maybe somebody gives you some kind of advice where you need to listen because sometimes we there's wake up calls. OK, so I do see that maybe brilliant ideas. You need to step up a little bit as well. Some of you may be consulting a professional in some kind of a field that may help you. Um, you are coming to some kind of endings, okay? For some of you, this is the fruits of your labor will be achieved. There can be some changes with work, career, and direction, and there could be something that is in the long distance in the offing. Um, there are some rewards. Watch the money spending. Some of you could um, be overspending, but I do feel that here, that's something that maybe um, someone helped you out with or a connection with someone else with money is going to be ending, You've got a completion here. You're coming to a new beginning. Um, being more self-sufficient, that is the positive end of this. And working on your um, <clears throat> financial stability. So I definitely see that kind of energy that is going to be good for you. I am seeing here also the challenge is don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. There can be some frust frustration here. Your perspectives may change. Not everybody's going to be on the same page. Um, trying to get rid of like these toxic patterns. So I do feel that energy too. I do feel here too, there's going to be some sudden change. You can deal with some upheavals and chaos around you, but this is a revelation. You got a wake up call here too. You may get a sudden insight as well, but don't throw the baby out with the bathwater because you will have some sudden surprises. All right. But this is going to help you evolve and change. So you're coming to some endings and you're evolving and changing here as well. And your perspectives are changing as well, too. All right. So now we're going to um, move on to Libra. Libra, home foundation, desire, luck and love. It's in the reverse, but it's positive. Then you have some negativity here, something that's deep rooted. OK, so I do feel that energy. Um, the positive end here is, I have to say, um, even though it may um, not seem positive, is you need to kind of um, form a new routine. It's like your biological clock, in a way, is not uh, set right. Uh, this is lack of sleep, um, health. There is something here with your health. Maybe uh, some of you could be occurring a lot of headaches, sleepless nights. Maybe you're having prophetic dreams. Um, there's something that's nag at, nagging at you. This is like uh, regrets or um, worry, okay? So I do feel that energy. But 
you can process this really well. You can um, succeed to get over this. For some of you, this is anxiety, social anxiety. Um, maybe you need to be in the spotlight. Maybe you need to be um, doing some public speaking or something, and you're anxious about this. But I do see you will get some kind of public recognition of victory, making progress, and building your self-confidence. All right, so there is a purging here with that too. And something that you know that no longer is right. This is sometimes our shadow side that we need to look at and clear up as well. So I do feel that you could just incur a lot of overthinking and frustrations and headaches. The, um, the challenge here absolutely is what I'm feeling is relationships too. Um, what's toxic here? Um, is it ascending to the level you want? Family dynamics as well and, and building a, a stronger foundation. So they could be some challenges here. Um, not everybody's going to be happy with your, uh, your home or situation or a relationship. Okay. Um, I do feel that there is disagreements and some tension that may occur too. So that is what I'm seeing there, but this is like kind of, uh, changing and it's almost a little bit karmic. So this is, um, incurring some challenges with family members and relationships. I do feel that too, because it is, um, something that, um, needs like, um, you sometimes have to go through the storm to get to, you know, to the best. So I do feel that energy um, for you. Okay. So now we're going to move on to Scorpio. Scorpio, refurbishing love and making some kind of adjustments. All right. So that's what we're seeing with Scorpio here. Um, your wishes, your goals, uh, people around you, love, all of that is kind of, uh, you're kind of rehashing. And um, I want to say um, recalibrating, okay? What I do feel here, you can be manifesting a lot. Um, some things that you've already manifested, you may now experience some sudden changes with it, okay? So I do feel that energy. You could be dealing with school um, issues. Um, well, it's not issues. It's something good. This could be changing your major. Maybe this is also um, a change with work because uh, I feel you're dealing with an institution. Um, this is also what you um, perceive as a group of people. There can be a group of people here that know um, that uh, the dynamics is changing. You may have some more options some decisions, but you need to trust yourself more. Okay. Where have you held you back, uh, held yourself back? So this is a time of the energy of a sudden change and the unexpected and opportunities may come up, but you've got some decisions that you're going to have to make and you're going to have to trust yourself. This is what's good for you. Maybe it's a change of guard. Maybe it's a new club. Maybe it's a new group of people. So there is some kind of change that is occurring there. Something's going to trigger that. So that's a major um, change for you too. So I do feel that energy. Um, the challenge I'm feeling here for you is definitely some kind of conflict. You have changes of perspective. You have changes um, with relationships. Maybe people cancel on you. Um, you're going to have to make some adjustments with your time and your schedule is what I'm feeling here because there's conflicts, um, sneakiness around you. These are relationships that are not healthy for you. So you're going to have to make some kind of adjustments there. It's calling for you to adjust things. People's situations could be leaving your life. Um, there is some conflict in trying to get a schedule together. All right. So I do see that or multitasking. You got the challenge. Um, it's competitive kind of energy. You may have to deal with some uh, competitive energy and some challenging aspects. So I do see that. So making these adjustments for it to work for you is going to be quite important. Um, at this time. So that's one thing I see for uh, Scorpio. Now we're going to move on to Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Love, compassion, new way of feeling, um, some choices and decisions. It's like um, you get hurt sometimes with people changing plans or you changing plans. It's like some worries, money. There is that kind of energy. All right. So what we do see here is the positive end is definitely we're seeing here. Well, you feel like you are not moving ahead somehow, but you've been holding yourself back somehow. There is something that you have not been changing. You haven't been consistent with. So this is something that you're going to have to change with, uh, change too. You may be dealing with 
either work career or this is like a masculine figure in your life. It could be a father figure or someone who's like kind of um, intimidating or holds you back somehow. Um, it's time for you to move forward away from that person because um, there's a sense that they do hold you back. They're very critical. They may draw you in. It's like they dangle that carrot. So I do feel that energy, but the positive end is you could be coming up with strikes of new ideas um, moving forward with that. There is also love around. There's like someone who's admiring you on the side. All right. You're going to have to find new ways of communicating with people too. Um, th there's a lot of restless and mental energy. So you're kind of dealing with that, but it's still more on the positive end, I have to say. Um, so there is that, um, energy that's, uh, coming through, but this is doing things that with love and compassion and for yourself and others is going to help break that mold. Uh, the challenge definitely here is your abundance, um, your home, what is um, good for you. <laughs> there is a lot of um, <clears throat> opportunities around you, okay? There could be someone who could inspire you and you're trying to follow their lead. That's fine, but don't maintain your like individual self. What works for others doesn't always work for you. You know what I mean? So if someone inspires you, that's fine, but do something on your own. I do see abundant energy um, more positivity with the home, but it is a challenge now. It's like um, starting something new, creative projects. It takes some time. For some of you, be careful of unexpected pregnancies, all right? This is like an unwanted pregnancy is what I'm seeing too, okay? Um, I do see it is important for you to meditate and contemplate a little too and count your blessings. So there are your thoughts, your feelings, and that are starting to, they're building and they're kind of changing and new emotional beginnings. I would definitely stay out of my head if I were you, okay? So definitely seeing that energy for um, Sagittarius, okay? And now we're going to move on to Capricorn. Out of focus. Okay, <clears throat> Capricorn. Choices, decisions with love. This could be something different that, and a different feeling, and this could be any relationship. You have new beginnings here. Planting the seeds now is going to be important, okay? So definitely seeing that kind of energy. All right, so the positive end here is a burden that you've been carrying is going to be lifted, okay? Um, this is where you're going to delegate, where you take on the burden of responsibilities with love, responsibilities um, with doing things, um, making sure that you're the one who does it all is what I'm picking up here. OK, you are coming to a strong new beginning. These are extra responsibilities that you need to purge. These are um, not taking on too much. So there is a challenge there. You may be overworked, um, too. And this is a time where. You're learning new things, too. Some things can be a little bit burdensome, but the positive end here is it's coming to a period that's going to be over. Um, once you delegate things, things are going to change because you're coming to a powerful new beginning. So this Mercury retrograde is going to help you release a lot of burdens and extra responsibility, and you're going to complete something that is going to be very important. Okay? Now... I know this sounds weird, but your challenge here is wish fulfillment and um, all things in moderation, okay? So you may be like, sometimes this is escapism, you want to like overeat, overdrink, um, going over the top somehow. But there is a strong wish fulfillment here too, but how are you going to delegate that is what I'm seeing. Um, I do see some challenges. I do see you need to persevere a little bit longer and don't give up. This means if you've been on a diet, for example, I'm giving you an Example, you may like overeat one day and you're like, ah, forget it. But perseverance is going to help you move forward. All right. So I do see that you may have to hold your ground and stand your ground about something that you want to do because others may not agree with you. So I do feel that you are purging things. You're maintaining more control, too. But you're going to also reassess things. Things are a little bit of a process, too. And this is to build something that you really want or desire, but all in moderation. So that's going to be like a challenge for you. Okay. Now we move on to Aquarius. Aquarius. Passion, desire, passive aggressive um, energy. It's on the side here. Love and compassion. Aquarius, 
you're going to have to switch things up. You're going to have to be very patient and tolerant, okay? And that is going to reap your, your benefits. This could be a high creative time for you. And this is a time where I do feel um, uh, switching up some kind of lifestyle routines, creative projects, your creative ju juices. When you make and tweak things up, they're going to... Um, they're going to benefit you. You're going to get better results, okay? You're going to really have to have patience, and you're going to have to uh, make some um, some changes here. And this is also, you could be delving into what um, your bad habits are. Your shadow self is coming here, too. Uh, for some of you, there is um, some little snafus that you're going to have to deal with, okay? They could be little blocks here and there. Um, a toxic situation and a person that needs to be purged. All right. So all of that's going to trigger something there too. And that's something that you can work on as well and eliminate. So I'm doing, I am seeing that this could be a very powerful Mercury retrograde for you. Um, your challenge definitely here is fairness, justice, and truth is what I'm feeling. For some of you, this could be um, court um, or unexpected purchase. For some of you, maybe be dealing with um, uh, signing some documents and that. So I'd be careful what you do sign. Um, the thing is, uh, you need to real. This is like going into partnerships. Um, there is love coming through. A mutual attraction is coming up as well. But you need to get to know somebody better. And also, if you get into something involved, official or um, legal, you're um, definitely going to have to make sure that you are... The challenge here definitely is getting something uh, truthful or getting something fair, uh, whatever you sign or agree to. So this is a time where it's possible that it could work out good for you. But at the same time, make sure this partnership or uh, discussion that you have is something that is valid. OK, so the, the challenge here is also restoring your balance, um, dealing with legalities is what I'm feeling here, too, and love. OK, a major decision that needs to be made, but I would not make anything till Mercury goes direct with love either. So definitely feeling that kind of energy, too. All right. So that wraps it up for um, Aquarius. Now we're moving on to Pisces. Pisces, love, compassion. It is in the reverse here. Do you trust yourself? Do you trust your feelings? Do you not? You know, you're you're, you're intuitive, but again, you're not like you're like, nah, it's almost like pessimism. And what I'm seeing here, too, is luck, fortune, success. It is there. However, um, Pisces, what I'm seeing here, definitely seeing giving and uh, receiving is really a good energy. This is a good time to, um, you may be like donating your time uh, with others. Um, this is generosity coming through. Um, maybe you receive some kind of bonus or a raise or a tip. Um, it's a good time, too. So I do see that. This is like even making some kind of connections with others. But you have to have um, the courage and the strength um, to kind of put yourself out there or take a risk. I do see you have some kind of uh, persuasive power here, too, and influence. All right. So I do see that to make things fair. So I do see that it's a good time for that. And working on balancing your finances is what I'm picking up here, too. So that's good. It's good energy with also banking, loaning, loans. But again, read the fine print, Mercury's in retrograde. Do you really want that later? Is it something that's worth it, right? Um, the challenge here, which is good, um, it's, it's, it, it, it's just a little bit frustrating, is your goals, dreams, success, um, luck, victory. It's making you anxious because you kind of like thinking it takes time. It, you know, it's taking too long. Um, you may process and eliminate some things and change your mind, but make sure it's something that you're not going to regret. So don't make any quick decisions. It's like walking away from some kind of opportunities or some kind of, um, you know, because you're not sure about it is what I'm feeling here. Um, that can cause some regrets too. Now, for some of you, you're working too hard or you're kind of like overstressed about um, work or what's going on. You're overfocused on a situation and this is causing some worry and anxiety. Sometimes it's dealing with depression because you want to succeed and you will succeed, but it is taking um, a little bit of time or frustration to climb that mountain, okay? But don't lose hope, all right? That's one thing I'm seeing. 
And this is like getting a lack of sleep because maybe you're just over ambitious, I want to say, or you're feeling it's taking too long, but there is luck and success there. So that is really um, looking good there. So this is some things even in partnership or love um, that you may be confronted about and will create some changes in the future too. All right. Next is Aries. Aries. This Mercury retrograde, we're seeing a lot of creative ideas, a new cycle here, but implementing it could be the problem. Um, what I do feel here, maybe an important message comes in, okay? Um, this is an inspiration. Uh, you may make some kind of important discovery, and then you're going to feel free-spirited. Um, you want to explore something. There's an excitement. And there's a chance for you to start something creative, maybe a business or side hustle, where it, you're going to feel a sense of freedom. So you've got um, options to weigh out as well. Watch the finances too. You need to balance them as well. So I do feel that energy. For some of you, it could be already starting something on the side, a second source of income may be coming up. So that's the positive end here too. But definitely weigh out your options and your priorities too. So I do feel that energy. I am seeing here also that the challenge definitely is um, keeping your mind over, you know, mind over matter, so to speak, okay? Being more disciplined and truthful to yourself and honest, all right? So that is one thing that I'm seeing here too. For some of you, it could be dealing with somebody who is an authority or is a like a VIP, a boss, or someone in uniform. And um, it could be a little bit stressful with this person as well, because this could be a power struggle is what I'm feeling here as well. Um, count your blessings. I do feel here that some of you, it's like you're bored of something. You may incur some boredom. You're, um, you're, you don't like the options that you got, so you're going to have to reevaluate things and count your blessings. So that's kind of the challenge there. You have a lot of options here before you, but you may not be happy with them. You have help around you too, and you can actually help yourself to start something new, okay? So that's kind of a challenge for you, all right? All right, so that wraps it up for Aries. Now we are going to move on to Taurus. Taurus, trying to refocus here. Taurus, there's an accident. In your, uh, there's an, ooh, I said accident. You could be accident prone. That slipped out of my mouth or be careful of accidents, okay? But there's an accent on health and well-being, okay? So that does show up. I do see some frustrations. All right. Now, um, Taurus, the positive end here, there's a rebirth. There's a lesson learned here. Um, for some of you, this is a an energy of something heavy on your mind. You may not want to do till later. There is um, a sense of an awakening and a wake-up call, Okay. Uh, this is also, you could be judged by others is a problem here and stay out of gossip. You could be assuming too much as well. There is a sense of karmic energy here too. So I do feel that. Um, and I do feel there. the positive end is it brings some kind of rebirth and, um, something that maybe you need to express and that you've been holding back. And the, there's an energy of, uh, passionate energy and movement on the home front, I do feel that there could be some changes and adjustments. You may be more inspired to, uh, to take action. There's adventurous energy. You may be even more fearless, but you could be a little bit impulsive. So be careful of that energy. So there can be some movement or changes, new people, new experiences coming in, but you need to slow down somehow is what I'm picking up here, okay? Um, definitely the challenge. I mean, that sounded like a challenge too, but Mercury has it everything with it is, you know, a new path. Um, it's like new love and a renewal of love is what I'm picking up here. Um, so picking a new emotional path and watching the emotions. Cause I see a lot of frustration, um, seeing the reality in a situation is going to be important. This is like an illusion. Um, pay attention to your dreams because they're prophetic and this could be challenging for you to understand. You may be uh, faced with some fear and anxiety here. The subconscious is coming up as well and frustrations. You may have some deja vus and premonitions as well. But the frustration is there is divine timing. So not everything is revealed. There's a sense of mystery here. And that could be challenging for you too and frustrating as well. Okay. 
Um, and this is, you know, uh, going after your passion, something maybe with home. I don't know, but I do feel that and with love. All right. So that's Taurus. Now we're going to move on to Gemini. Gemini, you have a spiritual tower. There's going to be adjustments, changes, and evolution, and that's not easy. Um, and this is within the what things that you've been building on, hope and patience, and with family dynamics is what I'm feeling. This is your home as well, what you are building for the future for yourself, okay? What you're trying to stabilize. I do see partial fulfillment. Now, what I do see as a blessing here is there is valuable opportunities that are going to be presented. They could be some specific um, news coming in as well. Um, the thing is being unbiased, okay, um, and independent. You will be starting to be aware of where you need to put in some clear boundaries, all right, where you need to directly communicate um, what's on your mind. Your words have power now, too, so the spoken word is going to be very important. You need to be clear-minded when you make decisions and what you do say, your perspectives can be definitely changing, but this is making you stronger. So that is like your power there is what I'm feeling as well. You could have um, an interlude or some kind of a power struggle with a female. All right. Um, but you do have beautiful opportunities that are going to be presented um, to you as well. The challenge here is many, many options. Okay. So you could be confused, many options, what you want where you're going, what's your long-term view, the hard work that you've been putting in, uh, perseverance can be a problem and a challenge, and also, you know, trying to make enough. This is like, are you satisfied with your results, your investments for the future? So work, career, um, projects, people, definitely you're going to be reevaluating and looking at the, the long term and this is going to be the challenge for you and also what you want and desire it's like where are you going in life so that definitely is a challenge for you and rethinking things emotionally and mentally and with a few aspects in your life okay and now we're going to move on to cancer cancer you're the only one who received three stones so the mercury retrograde can be Okay, but then again, there's rewards coming in because you have a new beautiful cycle. You've got many ideas coming through to commencing a new cycle. This is doing things. Uh, this is spiritually connecting with the soul, soulmates, and spiritually um, connecting as well with the heart and what you desire and deeply desire. This is also dealing maybe with a child, but there's rewards and growth and something with new money or um, new way of doing things coming in, all new, new, new. What I do feel here, too, is it's a very high creative time. Um, this is like a new love, a new renewal with a child um, is coming into focus is what I'm feeling as well. Um, this is your your visions, your creativity, happy surprises. Um, watch the emotions. Others around you could be making, I don't know, these are the things that maybe you wanted to promise or you wanted to do, and then you have to change because things are changing, that you change plans or people change, you know, I, I'm seeing that kind of energy. This is a time for you to rest, okay? You're going to be really kind of uh, get, um, looking to uh, work smarter, not harder, and you're kind of implementing that. Rest is very important for you too, and relaxation, meditation, contemplation. You're going to recover and recuperate somehow. You're going to take more of a retreat, um, this is also from others. Um, it's like um, the projects and things that you've started. Um, I do feel that energy is strongly indicated in your creativity here. But you're, you're more willing to take your time to get more sustainable results than you are to rush into anything. So that is good, which will bring you some beautiful results. They could be a wish fulfillment with a child or someone younger in your life. So I do feel that new love may be coming through too, but it is a new beginning. All right. So you're definitely separating from negativity as well. Um, the challenge here is, I want to say, <sighs> collaborating, learning, implementing things, building something new. There they could be some frustrations or some over focus on something as well. But just know that there will be growth. 
Um, you're at the first stages of completion here too. So this is also money. You are going to, um, your finances, you're going to be kind of like uh, making some adjustments. You're going to be investing or a new beginning with it. And you may feel that's challenging or that you for, you were forced to do so somehow. Like, no, I have to do this. So I do feel that you're going to find creative solutions with money. And I do feel that the lessons you learned with that, now you're going to implement them and you're going to be doing well. So you're building on something as well. This is a great time for um, artists, uh, people who um, journal, write, uh, books, uh, publishers, um, very good energy too. But this is also eliminating toxic um, interludes with others, communications with others. So you're kind of like um, dealing with and seeing the toxicity in the situation and you are eliminating these manipulators or maybe it's like uh, you're done with um, people. You know, it's like who you associate with is definitely um, uh, purging here. So um, definitely seeing that kind of energy. Um, so a lot of things that you are implementing and ideas, they're taking time and you're, and you're thinking them over. So that is looking good. All right. So that does uh, conclude um, for Cancer. Now we move on to Leo. Leo, you have a tower with um, health, lifestyle direction, adjustments with everyday routine, your schedules. So we are seeing that. That could be um, um, a focus for you here too. Um, home foundation and your desires, but there's a caution here as well. You know, when I'm seeing this, it's not that bad. This is slow and steady wins the race. Um, there's something that's very productive here that you are working on. Maybe some of you started a, a health diet or something like that, or new exercise um, routine, and it's going to pay off for you. You got to just keep moving and making some kind of adjustments. So I do see that energy. I see a wish fulfillment, a wish coming true. Um, this is like being very happy and grateful. So there is a good energy here that you're going to see reap the rewards with some things, um, as well. I feel your challenge is impulsiveness, fast, um, too fast thinking, um, implementing too many ideas, rushing. So be careful of that because slow and steady wins a race for you is the message here. Um, it's like staying within structure, the rules and that, um, or dealing with authority, um, focusing yourself is going to be important, being reliable, um, the ability to work hard and to maintain that, that is the only thing you want. Maybe you want too much of a fast result here or things and uh, distractions could be coming in. Okay. So it's like you're working on something and then people are kind of distracting or sudden things just come in. You may be dealing with an annoying, um, father figure or, um, an authority figure or someone like that too. So there could be some news that rushes in um, or it, a distraction. This is almost like a, a intrusive in your in your uh, routines or in your life. So that could be um, a challenge there as well, okay? Taking your power back, all right, is one thing too. All right, so that wraps it up for the Mercury in retrograde for, in, that's gonna be in Virgo from August 23rd to September 14th. It's advisable to watch this at least once a week um, for the next three weeks then. So, and yeah, we'll get through it. All right, bye for now.